A masterpiece of classical architecture, the Chateau de Volevicomte was the blueprint for Versailles and its forerunner. Contained within the walls of this monument are three and a half centuries of history. That legacy is now the responsibility of the three brothers who inherited it on the death of their father. Ascanio, Alexandre, and Jean-Charles. As you grow up and become an adult, you become more and more aware of the weight of responsibility, as well as how lucky you are to be living here as owner and custodian of such a monument. When you consider everything that needs to be done, all the responsibility in the face of 350 years of history, it can seem a little daunting. We are just one of the links in this huge, still unbroken chain that connects the past to the future. Built in the 17th century at the instigation of Nicolas Fouquet, the chateau harnessed the talents of architect Leveau, gardener Le Nôtre, and painter Lebrun. From his private apartment, Charles Lebrun had direct access to the chateau's dome. From where it was set up, Lebrun could access the scaffolding straight from his bedroom window and save himself the trouble of having to climb up 12 meters from the ground. Unfortunately, Fouquet's arrest in September 1761 put an end to the work, and so the painting could not be completed. Fouquet was a great patron of the arts and a philanthropist, but his taste for luxury upset his king, Louis XIV, who had him arrested and sent to languish in prison till the end of his days. But Fouquet's property inspired the Sun King to build the Chateau de Versailles. Vaux-le-Vicomte was quickly forgotten and only emerged from anonymity in 1968 when it was opened to the public in a bid to finance restoration work. Since then, many new fundraising ideas have been mooted, such as adopt a statue. This 17th century statue is a sphinx guarding the house. It was covered in lichen and its facial features were beginning to fade, so there was a degree of urgency. We managed to fund restoration of these 62 statues in less than two years because people want to be part of history, to appropriate a little piece of history. At Vaux-le-Vicomte, there's a succession of construction sites. The wrought iron central gates need a facelift. To produce identical results, restoration must be done by hand, using the techniques of the day. This delicate operation is being carried out at this forge in Lyon. The south gates had been in place for 350 years. There's a great deal of rust. Some of the railings are really corroded. A few pieces are missing here. We need to redo this one completely. This one doesn't look too bad. The iron forged in the 17th century has been eaten away by the elements. We'll remove the rosettes to see whether they're perforated, but we'll need to change them all. First, we have to straighten out all these volutes. The gate is as much about security as prestige. It bears witness to the grandeur of the chateau and the power of its owner. Every year in late spring, the chateau is transported back to 1661 and the era of the Sun King as guests reenact the famous gathering at which Nicolas Fouquet aroused the jealousy of King Louis XIV. The highlight is a competition with prizes offered by the chateau. Hello, are you well? Yes. Hello. Jean Charles is the arbiter of style. Accompanied by his family, he encourages visitors to register for the competition. A ticket to take part in the competition for the most beautiful picnic? Thank you. It's a combination of everything, the costumes, the way the tablecloth goes with the colours of the plates, the research behind it, all the work that has gone into producing something elegant. Here's to us, to us. and to Volvo Brocades, satins, feathers and sundry lacework are eager to compete. You look beautiful. You girls look great. 
Your costume is lovely. Here, I'll take your picture. I'm a Roman soldier. People who dress up to come here often tell me how much they enjoy it because they love this period and would live in it if they could. We can't do that, of course, but we try to bring the place to life. Please get ready so we can move on fairly quickly. 21, 22. Princess fantasies, a love of dressing up, or a simple nostalgia for past times. Everyone enjoys it in their own way. For the owners, though, the celebration is an annual event that consolidates the renown of the estate by bringing back to life and the prize for the women's costume. The history of this avant-garde chateau 